Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain you and show you how you can connect other document libraries to your Microsoft team. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So here I have a team right here uh, with a bunch of channels. Some of them are standard, some of them are you know, private. Doesn't really matter in this particular case. And obviously each and every channel has its own uh, file section. Uh, and obviously um, this files tab right that refers to this files shows me just the documents for this particular channel and if i open this in sharepoint uh, i mean obviously all these files reside uh, on a sharepoint site that is connected to that uh, microsoft team uh, however let's say i have another site uh, or maybe some other sites some other libraries that are sitting completely outside of the site all right uh, like in my case over here you see i have a policy uh, company policies document library uh, completely resides on a different site, has nothing to do with uh, with the team I created. What I would like to do is I would like to bring in this library into my team. All right. So how do we make it happen? There are actually two ways for you to do so, uh, and I'll demonstrate both, and then we'll uh, talk about the differences between the two. Uh, so option number one would be to add uh, another tab over here. All right, and uh, essentially, um, you, you know, create a link, if you will, to that library from within a, a given channel within uh, Microsoft Teams. Uh, let's see how that works. So I'll grab the URL of this library right here. Perfect. And then I'm going to navigate. I'm inside of this channel. I click the plus sign to add a tab. Uh, in this case, I want to add a document library over here. And it shows you some of the recently accessed document libraries already. You can pick from you know, uh, one on the list if it appears here, or you can use this use SharePoint link option. And you can you know, paste the URL. You can paste the URL of the library or the site, doesn't really matter, because after you press go uh, and next, it actually shows you all the libraries that reside on this particular site anyway. All right, so in my case, I know that my stuff is here in this library. Here we go, click next. We can assign a name to uh, my, um, my tab. Here we go. And let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Look at this, it added another tab. All right, so here is my, um, you know, here is my files tab with uh, whatever documents I have inside of this uh, channel, uh, channel folder to be precise. And this is my other link and it brings up Brings in, brings in the library uh, from that other site. All right. If you notice uh, right away, it brought the library. It did not bring in the metadata. You see, my library here um, happens to have some custom metadata I created. You don't get to see any of that. All right. It's missing. It's missing. Um, so over here, I can access the documents and all, but uh, it does not. You know, show me any metadata. However, let me show you another trick. Uh, that's option number two that's available, where you can bring in the uh, the document library plus the metadata that uh, um, that uh, you know this library contains. Um, so here's how it works. What you need to do, you need to click on the files tab, all right, and choose add cloud storage over here. And by the way, you can bring in data from different sources it doesn't even need to be sharepoint you can bring it in from dropbox and uh and google drive and other sources uh in our case we're just bringing it in from uh, sharepoint here we go and very similar screen right we you know we can uh supply the url over here perfect and again click go next this library next uh and we just click add folder all right, look at this. What it did, it added, you know, here are my documents I already had, and then it added this little folder. This is actually kind of a link, if you will, to that other document library. But let me click on it and look at this. Look at this. It brought the entire library from that side, but not only that, it also brought in the metadata as well. All right. So what I can do here, uh, this is, by the way, my preferred option, right? What I can, you know, uh, my preferred option. What I can do here is uh, pretty much, you know, um, change the style, just like in, you know, just like in SharePoint, pretty much. If I had additional views over here, I could do that. Um, I could also, uh, you know, filter by certain selection. I mean, essentially, all of the things uh, I can do in SharePoint, all right? Um, so uh, just two different ways 
uh, you can bring in the data, all right? Uh, obviously, this is my favorite option because um, it, it does bring metadata if you have it uh, on the library, and it kind of keeps it all in one place, right? It's not even a tab, which is not bad, but what I like about this option is that uh, it um, you know has my regular files that would have within the channel, and then it also kind of all in one place has links to this other libraries that I decide to connect as well. So that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned a new trick. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.